Brock University's Cool Climate Onology and Viticulture Institute has become a leader in research and development and education in the wine industry since its inception in 1996. Dr. Jennifer Kelly is here to talk about their lecture series that began January 17th. And Dr. Kelly, you're not only a professor in the program, you're a grad of the program? Is I that am right? a graduate of Brock University. I did my PhD there uh, in the biotechnology program. So you really just slotted right from that into working with Covey? Certainly. I did have a couple of roles along the way, and I've started in my scientist and enology position of, uh, in May of 2023. So I'm relatively new. As a scientist in this department, what, what are you doing? What are you working on? So my research as an enologist is focused on winemaking science and how we can prove, improve processes along the way to assist those in the industry. So we're really directed at the needs of the industry. So any problems or anything that comes up uh, with respect to changes in weather, for example, with respect to changes in pests that come along the way that could cause problems in the way that the wine tastes is something that I try to deal with in my research program. But because I'm so new, I'm just starting to develop my own research program. 27 years now that this covey has been around, mm -hmm. and it really has become an industry leader. It really helps everybody in Ontario with their wine growing, or sorry, grape growing, and winemaking processes. Yes, absolutely. We're focused not only on winemaking science, but on grape growing science. Uh, how to manage some of the viruses that may come up in the vineyard. We have a really large clean plant program that's headed up by one of our scientists. And uh, we also are really focused on the impact of a changing climate and how we can kind of mitigate some of the problems associated with that. What interests me as well is that you're drawing students from across the world to this program. And I'm thinking of people in traditionally, you know, hundred, I shouldn't say hundred thousand year old wine regions coming to learn more about the science here in Niagara. Absolutely. So it is a big draw. It's a very unique program to us here in Canada. Um, we offer a four year program through our Department of Biological Sciences, where we do bring in students from all over the world. But we also offer a one year postgraduate certificate program. And our job placement rate is like 90 96%. So people are learning what they need to know in terms of the science and the practical aspects of grape and wine making, uh, and then they can bring it out into the industry. There's something like 180 wineries here in the Niagara area? Isn't yes. that the number somewhere around there? Yeah, uh, just under 200, yes. Yeah. So there's tons of opportunity, and there are many emerging regions that are growing grapes that are suited to the climate of those regions. Let's talk about the lecture series. Yes. Why do you open these 12 lectures up to the general public? So the lecture series is a forum or a platform for those of us who are doing research within the Institute and also a platform for those who are doing research outside of Brock University to offer some insight into the research that they do that supports the grape and wine industry. So we'll have our own researchers, our own fellows, we'll have people from industry, our government labs that are really working behind the scenes to support Ontario's grape and wine industry. You also focus on the wine business as well. I know someone from the LCBO is involved in this lecture series. Absolutely. So we have the good fortune this year of having George Soleus, who is the CEO of the LCBO, coming in and speaking to us in this really kind of intimate uh, opportunity, right? It's not a very large lecture theater. So people get access to these people that they wouldn't normally have access to. February 7th, a focus on the spotted lanternfly. This mm. is something that the wine industry is extremely concerned about. Absolutely. It's a major threat to our industry. And in terms of uh, its pattern in migration, we're seeing that it's kind of all around us, but it hasn't necessarily reached us yet. So my colleague, Dr. Spodek, is an entomologist who focuses on how bugs and pests can impact the plants in the field. And she's going to be talking about uh, all of those things that have an impact on our industry. You're presenting a lecture. What is your topic? So my topic is about um, the acceptance of some of the uh, grape varieties that are used to make wine. VQA is Ontario's like governing regulatory yes. body. And they recently approved a new grape variety for use in winemaking with that VQA approval. And we were really interested in how people would respond to that, what the consumer acceptance was that, what their willingness to pay was on that. So as part of my uh, postdoctoral fellowship research, I did a big project in partnership with uh, another research institute and we gathered some data on that. So what is that variety of grape? Uh, it's called Marquette and, and it's a red are, wine. Okay, so what are the features of it? What are so, the characteristics? It's really beneficial 
beneficial to our industry in that it is a hybrid variety, meaning that it's hardy for the cold weather. Uh, it's resistant to different kind of diseases and pests, so it offers a lot of benefits to our changing climate. Uh, and we were interested to see how people would respond to it as a single variety wine. Uh, it is available on the market right now. A lot is being produced up in Prince Edward County, but we're seeing more coming out of Niagara. And in terms of uh, acceptance, we saw some great results. So we're really happy with that. These lectures are held in the Mackenzie Chown complex. Are they live streamed? They are live streamed. So uh, anybody who's interested in attending the lecture series can certainly come and join us in person. Um, but we offer it on live online. So not only can you watch it, you can engage with the speaker and ask questions on the chat platform. And you also archive them, don't you? We do. So they kind of live on our YouTube channel. We have um, everything that's been posted since we the inception of this series in 2008. We actually have about 15,000 views, oh, like historically overall. Right. So the visibility and the accessibility to the public is available in many different ways. Do you see a lot of representatives from the local wineries coming to attend these lectures to learn yes. more? Yes, absolutely. And it's really nice when we see those in the industry engage in the research because it's really for them and it's for their benefit. So we are so fortunate to have this positive relationship and partnership with those in the industry. And that's really key to the way Covey works, right? You're yes. not just stuck in the lab out there. You you are maybe working in the lab taking something out to the wineries and testing it right there. Absolutely. Um, personally, for my job, about 50% of my position is focused on outreach. So finding different ways that we can interact and really serve the industry is a big part of what I do. And it's kind of the best part of what I do because I get to interact with those that are doing the work, that are putting out the products into, into the market, into the fields. Dr. Kelly, how can people find this on the Brock website? So if you go to the Brock website and look for us at Covey, you can find uh, the schedule for the upcoming lecture series, any links to the live stream. And if you follow us, follow us on our socials, you'll see all of the updates regularly. Easy enough. Thanks so much for coming in today. Thank you.